Welcome to the Bayport Fishing Shack. I'm always looking for some way to enhance my skinny water boat when I'm running up north into the Chazawiska National Wildlife Refuge. And a while back, I found a company in Auckland, New Zealand that produces an aluminum cavitation plate. So I ordered it but I had to wait quite a while because New Zealand was under lockdown so they couldn't get it to me. But I finally got it and I'll show you how I installed it. A while back I did a short video on this tunnel extension that I added to extend the water column out towards the lower unit on my 25 Yamaha and I found this cavitation plate from a company uh, and it's specifically made for my Yamaha 25 and it's even color painted to match the color which surprised me so I'm going to show you this latest extension to keep this boat skinny Here's the installed cavitation plate that I added to the motor. What this is supposed to do is add more lift out of the hole and it's supposed to push more water into the prop. Now there are a bunch of videos online. They show the installation. I'm not going to go through that because there are actually some very good ones out there. But I can tell you one thing, the tolerance uh, on the installation is pretty tight. You don't have a lot of leeway to uh, drill wrong holes. So when you do it, you need to take your time. It took me about two hours to get this thing on here. I'm going to show you a couple of other things that I did. As you can see, this is quite a shroud over top of the prop and the gull wings are the wings that extend onto the side. What this does is help push more water downward onto the prop so you don't get so much cavitation. And I do have some of that uh, in the past. And sometimes it's kind of tough to make a turn. So I'm hoping this improvement will stop some of this cavitation or aeration or ventilation, whatever you want to call it. A couple of things that I did that weren't in the instructions. I got additional stainless steel washers and put them underneath the motor on my cavitation plate. And I used a little bit more 5200 than they really called for. I wanted to make sure this thing was pretty well sealed up. And with the addition of these washers under here, I got a little bit more surface area rather than just using these stainless steel screws because um, like I said before the tolerance on this thing is pretty close so you really got to watch what you're doing here or you'll screw it up when you look at this thing from the back side you can see that the cavitation plate is actually below the tunnel and my tunnel extension when I get this thing out on the water, I'm going to see how it does, but I should be able to get up a little bit faster, uh, especially because uh, I get help from this four-bladed prop, and I'll be pushing water down, uh, which I'm hoping will stop any bow lift I have. And from what I've seen in the past on this boat, I can literally come out of the water in five inches of water with no bow lift at all if I redistribute my weight towards the center of the boat. So I'm gonna get this thing on the water and see how it does.
you can see how close the tunnel shroud is to the top of the water here just barely under and there's that cavitation plate at best it's two maybe two and a half inches underwater I like the fact that it's painted coordinated the rest of the color of the motor so I just wanted to take a shot of this and sitting here in the boathouse Put it out on the water and see what happens. I got a nice trout on. Been trying out this perma trim cavitation plate. It was so nice. I'm out here in shorts and a t shirt. So I figured I'd come up here and just ride around. I got nasty weather coming in here, as you can see. And look at this hog body. Holy smoke. 21 on the old Miradine. All right. A nice fish to catch. Hog body. Boy, there is a pretty nice trout. 21 inches. He's croaking, so that means he's a male. Look at them fangers. This is Trout Dracula. Boy, it's kind of nice. Come up here. I'm going to get blown off the water here if I don't get out of here. But, hey, cavitation plate works good. And, hey, I got a big fish to, to uh, end the video with. All right, big guy. See ya. I wasn't sure how this thing was going to work, but the fact that it's got those wings on there now, my prop is not ventilating and I've shown a couple of sharp turns that I couldn't make before without this, uh, this prop ventilating on me. So this thing works great. I don't think it gets me out of the hole any faster because I've got that two inch tunnel extension that acts as a 20 inch trim tab. This permatrim cavitation plate is pretty sweet. It's going to make a nice addition to my skinny water fishing. See ya.